G'day, welcome back to the channel. It's the next day. Time to sort out this uh, ball joint situation. We'll uh, fix it up, cut her open. We'll have a look what's going on. Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> Righto, so I've jumped in the 57. We're going to shoot down the Repco. Apparently, they are open on New Year's Day. I didn't know that. Someone mentioned in the comments. Um, but I'm going to head down there now, grab a ball joint. They've got them in stock, and we'll pull this thing apart. We'll um, open it up and see what happened. I've got an idea what happened and it's got a lot to do with not being able to grease the things. But we'll uh, pull it apart and check it out and we'll see. Man, this thing sounds good. I'll grab myself some Maury's for the 57 while I was up there. This stuff is awesome. There are other brands out there, but I find this stuff, I prefer this stuff anyway. Um, I'm not sponsored, obviously. <laughs> it's just good quality gear. Um, I had an old um, V8 with the piston slap once. This stuff got rid of the piston slap. <laughs> it's good stuff. So if you've got a tired old engine or something that just needs a little extra love, it's super, super slippery and it just gives it that love juice that all these old engines need. Righto, let's do this. The hardest part's gonna be getting that out. Because you know, I normally use the weight of the spring and everything else to hit on there and it'll pop it out. But because I've got no weight on it, um, I'm going to have to hit it from the top. Hopefully it comes out. That one's going to be pretty easy. Get a go of that, will ya? Dry. As suspected. This is my theory, and we'll cut this open, but my theory is because you can't grease these, they're sealed, and really this sort of stuff needs to be greased regularly. Um, she's dried up and then got hot. When metal gets hot, it expands. It's expanded hard onto that, and then as I've turned, and you can see the shear mark there, it's snapped it off because this has just gripped it really tight and I've got power steering holding this you know with this part so all the strength and um, she snapped by lack of grease there's a little bit of grease in there but not where it counts so that's my theory there you go so I've had a few people ask how old the ball joint was, is it original, has it been replaced? I don't know how relevant that is because, you know, ball joints shouldn't break really. Um, doesn't matter on the age and also as far as wear, I think you'll find if this ball joint was worn, it wouldn't have expanded enough to grip. So I doubt it had a lot of wear in it, it was just dry. That's my theory, you can shoot me down. I'm happy for that if you've got a better one. The best advice or one of the best things my dad ever said to me is son, learn something every day because only a fool knows everything. So if you've got something to teach me, I'll have a listen. Now before I put this in, what we'll do, I'm gonna pop the rubber off. We'll have a look at how much grease is in there and I bet you there's not much and I'm gonna pack it with some grease just so it lasts a little bit longer. No grease nipple. You might say, Paulie, drill a hole, thread it, put a grease nipple in it. That's all well and good. It's a sealed unit. I really don't want to get metal filings in there. It's just not worth the effort. Righto, so there you go. There's a bit of grease in there. Not a, I don't know if I can focus down that far, but not a lot down on the ball. Um, I'm not going to physically be able to get it inside, but what I'll do, I'll put a bit more in there and pack it in. So it's as it moves, it'll uh, wear its way down in there and hopefully give it a little bit extra life. There you go. In and around. That's what she said. <laughs> oh 
we're in pretty straightforward that's not gonna be That was a bit problematic, but we got her out, put her back together, and then we'll cut open this um, seized up one, hey? Just to show you, I know what I'm doing when it comes to rattle guns. This is what the young bloke should have done. I'll show you how easy it is to undo. We'll just do a quick lap, just check everything's good. I don't think there'll be any issues. One thing I did notice when I had that apart, I need to do my front brakes. I do have a bit of a shutter, so I'll get some rotors and some pads for that a bit later on. But for now. There's that boost. Well, my guess is that's been unhappy for a while because the steering's so light. Just progressively got up on me, I think. Something to keep in mind if you feel like your steering's getting heavy. I didn't notice, but it feels lighter now, so it's hard. <gasps> That's what she said. 
car feels good. I doubt I bent anything. I wasn't going any speed at all when that came apart. It'd be a different story if I was going forward and at speed, this thing would have been a write-off. I might have been a write-off and other road users might have been a write-off when you think about it like that. Anyway, let's cut this ball joint in half. So I can see straight away, she's as dry as it gets and she's been gripping hard. Brought her into the shade, she's hot out there. One handed bandit. I might have to put this down for a second. Hang on. Well, there you go. She's dry. You can see where it's been gripping. That's like a poly cup that it sits in, and there's no real wear on the bottom of the ball there. It's just in the top, and she's gripped pretty hard. No grease. That's my theory. Well, I hope you found that interesting. I certainly did. It's a little bit disappointing on how that all happened. Um, what do you do? Just totally just, I've got nothing. What I have done, I've checked out online, I can get ball joints with grease nipples in them. So I've ordered a pair of those and I'm gonna swap them over. I'll do that when I do my breaks. Um, and you know what? Probably wouldn't hurt to have a think about that yourself. You do what you gotta do, but that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.